What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my five subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and buy my soul tribe, I super appreciate it. If you want to be notified for future readings, you guys, and you enjoy my Gabby Bow, you can smash the sub button. It'll notify you for, for future readings, just saying. Okay, so this is Truth Hidden. This is basically what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. Um, it could be anybody, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, a lover, a past lover, Sally Joe down the street that has any kids she doesn't know what to do. It could be anybody. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your truth hidden energy, Gemini. This is for the month of November of 2021. And the channel I received was... Some truth is about to come out. Major, major truth. I heard some major truth is about to come out and it's about to hurt. So you plug it in, hog that resonates. If that resonates for you, um, Gemini. Um, if it's not major truth that's going to hurt you, it could be uh, possibly somebody you're connected to. But it's, I feel it's you because it's in your truth hidden. So um, it's what somebody doesn't want you to know. So I feel it's some major truth that's going to hurt you, unfortunately. But you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. I just want to say that real quick before we get started. Every like, subscribe, share, unlike, um, and donation. Um, you guys are just the best. You really are. I'm back on the YouTube recommendation list. Just to let everybody know, I was about six to nine months ago. I'm back on it now, but it's because of you guys. So thank you guys so much. Just making the channel go pew, pew. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart chakra. I'm serious. Um, thank you to YouTube and thanks to you guys. You guys are just the best. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay. Nine of Wands upright, three of Pentacles reversed. A Pisces is about to attempt to try to come back. Uh, I'm sorry. No. A Pisces is about to attempt to come into a fire sign's life. To work with them. But the fire sign will shut them down. And other series of chain events will probably occur. The police will probably, probably get called. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates with you. Oh, man. Um, I heard a Pisces is, uh, this is what somebody, uh, I guess the Pisces doesn't want you to know or the fire sign. You plug it in how it resonates, but I heard a Pisces is going to try to come back, um, not try to come back into, they're going to try to come into a fire sign's life. So whoever this Pisces is, I don't think they have, um, been around the fire sign. Um, I don't think they've interacted or conversated with the fire sign, uh, because other police are probably going to get called. So it's either a, a Pisces of the of the fire signs past where they do not they're not in positive energy space with this um with this um Pisces uh this fire sign is not in positive energy energy space with the Pisces and they they're not on good terms or it's um a new per you know the it's a new person the Pisces is a new person to the fire sign however that resonates uh, but the fire sign's not interested um. And I heard the fire sign will probably call the police. And then another series of chain of events will occur. So I guess this is what the Pisces doesn't want you to know or the fire sign doesn't want you to know. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, and Hamer, Jupiter. Um, masculine or femme Pisces. And the fire sign could be a masculine or femme, femme fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, mid Hamer, Jupiter. Or the police will probably get called. Um, the Pisces wants to work with the fire sign in some shape, form, or fashion, but the fire sign is not interested. They're not interested. So this is the fire sign not being interested. They do not want to collaborate. They do not want to uh, exhibit teamwork with this Pisces. They're either on bad terms with the Pisces, a Pisces of the past, or it's a new person, and they're like, what the hell, man? Who are you? And they're not interested. Um, and then this is... Um, this can either be the Pisces exhibiting desire, drive, and motivation towards fire sign or the fire sign. There's a reason the Pisces wants to come to the fire sign. So I think this is either Pisces exhibiting 
desire, drive, and motivation towards fire sign, and fire signs are interested, or this is a fire sign blowing it up in a positive way, and the Pisces wants the energy suck off of them, either suck money, time, or energy. You plug it in, however, that resonates. I heard the police will probably get called, and then another series of chain of events will occur. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, um, Gemini. This is, I guess, what the Pisces or the fire sign or both doesn't want you to know. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhammer, Jupiter. You plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. An Aquarius, Leo, and Gemini is about to stand up against an Aries in a huge way. Huge, huge, huge way. Very shady behind the scenes tactics. About to be exposed soon. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. If this resonates for you, Gemini, I heard an Aquarius, Leo, and Gemini. So another Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo is about to stand up to an Aries in a huge way. Um, I heard they um, this Aries is performing some kind of shady behind-the-scenes tactics in a very sneaky, manipulative way. And it sounds like the Aquarius, Aries, and um, I'm sorry, Aquarius, other Gemini, and Leo is about to find out. And the Aquarius, um, other Gemini, and Leo is about to, this is standing up energy to this sneaky, manipulative, behind the scenes, shady Aries. Um, this is the Aries, um, um, behind the scenes, shady, manipulative tactics. And um, this is the shady, behind the scenes, manipulative tactics. Um, it's an Aries, I heard. They have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or Jupiter. I'm presuming they're doing the shady, behind-the-scenes, manipulative tactics because they feel they have no control over a person, place, family, or situation, or organization. And they have to resort to shady, behind-the-scenes, manipulative tactics, which is the moon and the emperor reverse com combined here. Um, but a, a Gemini, a Leo, and an Aquarius is about to stand up to them in a huge way. About to shut it down. Okay, I heard about to shut it down. So this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know, Gemini. Uh, about to shut it down, man. It's a, I heard an Aquarius, a Leo, and another Gemini. They're about to shut it down, but it's an Aries. Um, doing so, something very, very shady and manipulative behind the scenes. Um, that is so crazy. Um, the Emperor Reverse and the Moon Upright, is that's some bad energy right there. That is bad, bad, bad energy. Bad energy. And thank God there's seven of wands by it with the standing up energy. Just saying. Um, yeah. Holy crap. You've got a lot of people in your spread. I mean, of course, you've got to put, plug yourself in where you fit. You may not plug in with every single one of these situations. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do. Spirit messages you have for sign a Gemini. A Gemini's older son is about to come out to them out of the closet. Sixteen and older. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard a Gemini's older son, sixteen and older. That's very specific. Sixteen and older. Um, is about to come out to a Gemini. I heard out of the closet soon. So, um, out of the closet. Now, um, I think that's um, saying they are bisexual or gay. Um, that's what I'm presuming by out of the closet energy. But you plug it in, however that resonates. But I heard if this resonates with you, Gemini, you have a 16 or older son. Um, and it sounds like he's about to come out, out of the closet to you. 
I think either saying he is gay or he is bisexual or um, trans possibly. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, that's obviously what your son doesn't want you to know. I think he's probably very nervous about this um, and scared. Um, so hopefully everybody handles this in a very tactful, logical, reasonable way. Hopefully, just saying. Ten of Wands upright, King of Cups upright. A water sign, masculine of your past is going through it right now some their businesses are falling apart some they're about to be indicted oh my god so you plug it in how it resonates if this resonates for you gemini i heard a water sign mass one in your past so a cancer pisces scorpio of your past they could have cancer pisces or scorpio in their sun moon rising venus north node midhaven jupiter um i heard of your past so it's not somebody you're in current energetic space with right now. It's somebody of your past in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but I heard they're going through it. Some of them, their businesses are falling apart. And some, um, they're about to be indicted. Um, indictment energy is, um, I looked it up on Google. It's like grand jury energy, like charges being brought up across, or a person, like serious, serious, serious charges and crimes that involves a grand jury, basically, is what in. Uh, what I gathered from the Google definition of indictment. So you plug it in, however that resonates. Um, that's This is the businesses falling apart or the indictment energy or both. This is your water sign of the past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio of your past. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamburg, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is what, obviously, this water sign masculine doesn't want you to know. Spirit messages you have signed at Gemini. They want to reach out, but they know it's not smart. That's what I just heard just now. Okay. So they want to reach out, but they know it's not smart. So this water sign masculine in your past wants to reach out to you, but they know it's not smart. This is what this water sign masculine um, doesn't want you to know. They want to um, reach out to you, but they know it's not smart. There is some deep dooku crap, whoever this person or people is in your life. Ten of swords reversed, ace of wands upright. Someone's about to be completely free of a relationship, completely free. They're about to reach out soon. Communication. Someone in your past. Okay, so um, you plug this in, how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, it's somebody that's completely, I heard they about to be completely free of a relationship. So that could be a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a fiance, or a spouse. Um, I feel this is in the possible love department or romance department. You plug it in how it resonates, but they want to communicate with you, but they want to be completely free of this. It sounds like toxic relationship. So that's why I think romance or um, relationship. Um, but once they get completely free of this toxic romantic relationship or situationship or marriage or whatever it is i heard they're gonna um reach out to you and that's the ace of wands upright action energy i heard communication um so um 
Usually communication is swords card for it, but um, this is action, action with the communication. So that would make sense too. So you plug it in, however that resonates. Um, so they're, um, they're over the past toxicity. They're over the past toxicity. They're just in the process of getting out of it. So I think they want to be completely healed before they reach out and communicate to you because I think they're romantically interested in you. Um, I think for a real relationship, not just for a booty call, um, whoever this resonates with. But you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, whoever this is for, I think you're single. I think you're single or you're getting out of something yourself, however that resonates. A Gemini is about to be called out on a business idea soon. It's going to throw them off guard. Okay, so this is what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. A Gemini is about to be thrown on, uh, uh, about to be called called out on a business idea. Um, I heard it's going to be about somebody you never expected. It's going to throw you off guard. So. Um, Somebody's going to call you out on a business idea. So some kind of business idea, I think, that you have proposed to them or have proposed to the world in some shape, form, or fashion. But somebody you never expected is about to call you out on it. So I don't think it's going to be, oh, hey, I love it. Uh, no, I think it's going to be opposite. Um, I didn't hear, like, theft or fraud, but it makes me wonder if they are going to, um... hold on one second, you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so sorry. Um, that's the automated city school um, phone phone call. Okay, so yeah, so um, where are we at? I forget where we're at. Oh, well, yeah, I think we were done. We were done. Okay, yeah. So, um, oh, about calling out on business idea. I think they might accuse you of theft or fraud. I don't feel it's positive energy is what I'm trying to say. I heard they're going to call you out. So um, just be wary of that if you feel it might resonate with you. Um, there's a reason they're calling you out. And I don't think it's like, hey, I love your idea. I, I don't I don't think so. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. If you think anyone could uh, benefit from the messages, please share the videos on your social media and spread my channel word of mouth. Love you guys. Namaste.